AI agents are simply AI that does stuff for you. It's like teaching ChatGPT how to send emails or schedule meetings or update your CRM. It's awesome. And it's never been easier to build one yourself, right? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to act. I'm going to build this quick start guide as to how to build your first AI agents. We're going to jump into a platform called N8N. I'm going to break down the different parts, uh, the use cases, and then we're going to work together how to build it. I'm going to try and keep this in one shot so that you can see end to end no gatekeeping, no nothing, how simple this can be for you. So with that, we'll jump straight into use case number one. This is my personal assistant that I've got attached to Telegram. And I can operate pretty much my entire business just from this Telegram bot on my phone, right? So it's connected to my email, my calendar, my Notion. I've got social media set up with this so I can post things, right? Contacts, the, the whole thing, right? Um, and it's set up so that I can just send a voice note and the agent reacts, right? So I'll show you an example here real quick. Or here, I gotta turn on test workflow so you can see it. Let's go. Can you schedule a meeting tomorrow with Eric at Easy Machine? And then an email just to confirm that works. Okay, so it's sending, getting audio, tr transcribing audio. Boop, boop, boop. So I use Grok for this particular thing. This is kind of a tangent, but it's, it's really fast. So as you can see, it checked out my calendar, my email. Now we're generating a response. I've scheduled a meeting with Eric Michaud for tomorrow from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. PST and sent an email to confirm the meeting time. Awesome. There you go. So as you can see, it's really easy to get your hands on, on anything, right? And this comes down to updating your CRM. Like if I was using my Notion or ClickUp or whatever, right? Um, or even, you know, Pipedrive, like proper CRM software, you can go and add notes, you can schedule meetings, you can change you, any sort of tasks uh, associated with, with the project management and the things you can deal with with the voice note anyway. So that is how I use it. And I hope you can see the actual practical application of that, right? So we're gonna jump into the platform itself. Uh, N8N.io. We're going to stick with the cloud version for now. N8N is open source, so that means you can just download it and host it like you would your website, like put it on hosting or whatever. Um, that's a little more involved, and uh, you know we're going to keep it simple for today. So we're going to sign in at N8N.io. I've already got my own, but you'll click Get Started, and it'll send you this. Just fill that all out, and it'll take you to the N8N dashboard. So it should look something like this. There might be a button that says start your new project. There'll be tutorials and all that other jazz, but just go up here to create workflow. And this is your sandbox or playground or whatever you want to call it. This is where you're going to be building the agent, okay? So I'm going to try and zoom in so you can actually see. I hear you guys in the comments from last time. <laughs> I can't see. Okay, so add first step. This is the trigger. Um, I had it set up with Telegram and all this stuff, but we'll get to that later. We're just going to go with on chat message for now. Okay. Then we add this little plus button, AI, down to AI agent. There's some sick templates uh, on the cloud version that you should check out, but we're going to stick with this for now. Ta-da. So this is, N8N has some, done something cool on the back end. They've taken all the complicated like coding frameworks and they've just packed it into this little node, like a visual representation of some crazy, crazy stuff. So I think that's neat. You can drag it across the screen. Anyway, first part of your agent is going to be the brain, which is composed of the model and the memory. So we're going to choose our chat model. This is literally like your chat GPT, okay? Um, the nice thing is when you sign up for cloud version, you get 100 free OpenAI credits, which is dope. But I'm going to show you how to set up your own credential anyway. So click Create New Credential. If you have any issues ever, the other nice thing about the cloud version is you can click ask assistant and it'll walk you through here i'll show you right here it'll just how can i set up my credentials for open ai and it will walk you through the process it takes a minute but whoop, go to this website do this thing so we're going to go to that website do the thing it's platform.openai.com you're going to sign up then you're going to get your billing set up and go to dashboard here api keys then just create new secret key we'll call this test so this is your access key for OpenAI. So you just copy this and you want to make sure that you save this somewhere else because you can only see this key one time from the website. You never really want anybody else to have your API keys because they can start racking up your credit card. But you save this, move it over here, and save. Easy peasy. We've now connected GPT. And we can choose which model we want. I'm going to go with GPT-5 Nano just to make everything fast. Simple memory is 
fine for now. So the memory is like, uh, I don't know if you're into computers. You might be, you might not be. It's like RAM. So it's the context, right? How much it remembers of the conversation. So you do need memory. This is the brain behind your agent, okay? The next part will be the tools, right? So we need access to different tools like our calendar or our Gmail or whatever for this agent to actually, you know, do something. So that's the second part of an AI agent is the tool to act on the task. Um, and NADN is amazing because they've got all of these, pardon me, sorry, I'll just close that up. All of these already built in. Like normally you'd have to type out some crazy notation like JavaScript or like API, whatever, but this is all done for you already. So let's say you want to like, you know, go to your ClickUp, you just attach this and then you could literally create workflow or sorry, create uh, folders, tasks, notes, all that stuff through this agent just on a chat trigger, which is amazing. So I've said amazing <laughs> too many times, but I think it's cool. Uh, attach the Gmail tool, um, create a credential, very easy. Just click sign in with Google. There's a window that you do not see that I'm finishing up here, but it'll turn green. There you go. Easy peasy. There's your Google credential. Boom. Uh, so these other fields, like the to, subject, message, uh, we want the actual agent to be able to fill that in, right? So we're going to click these little stars, let model define parameter for all of those. And then it's just going to use whatever ChatGPT tells us to for those subject and message, okay? So there you have it, right? You'd think that'd be it. Except we do need to tell this brain how to actually use the tool, okay? And this is maybe the most important part. This is your system prompt. So we're going to go system message as adding an option. You are a helpful assistant is actually not a bad start. Um, I find like pumping the tires of the agent actually gives it a little bit more juice in terms of like the, the quality of response. But you want to be really specific. So I've got actually a template that I use. I break it down into overview, right? So give it a brief summary of the, the job it's supposed to do. Context, just that, right? Like the background details or constraints, target audience, things that are important to complete the task. And then you give it step-by-step -step instructions, list the tools and the data that is available to this agent. So in this case, it would simply just be Gmail uh, or, uh, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> but then it's always important to give it some example input and output so that it knows what to do, okay? So I've already built one out for this guy here. We're just going to copy this. I think I should leave that in the comments. I will leave it in the top comment, the uh, the template. But I'll read this out for you so you can get an idea. Email management tools. Use send email to send emails. Use create draft if the user asks for a draft. Use get emails to retrieve and so on, right? Final notes. Here's the current date and time, which is also important. Um, I've got the parameters set in my personal N8N to be on Pacific time because that's where I live. I think this is the same. I think it'll go locally. I, I don't know. I don't often use the cloud version, but we are about to find out. Anyway, let's uh, let's do this. How about we go, hello, send an email to Eric at Easy Machine AI. Oops, I spelled that wrong, didn't I? Asking if we're still on for tomorrow. And maybe I'll get it in that Telegram agent. Status. Sent. Let's see. My Telegram should tell me, but... Yeah, it says, are we still on for tomorrow? There you go. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Anyway, sent. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. Um, what you would do from there is just keep going and adding the different Gmail tools, right? So click another Gmail tool and then set it to draft or label or whatever, right? And then just give it access to all of those different, they're called API calls. The different tasks that the tool do does are API calls. So we just give it access to all those different API calls and then that would be your email agent, right? It's honestly as simple as that. As you can see, three parts, brain, tool, system message, that's an AI agent. Okay, so this is great and all, but we don't want to be hanging out in the N8N window, right? We need some sort of wrapper for this to work in a reasonable sort of fashion, right? Like, we want to make sure we have access to this from anywhere. So we're going to add a trigger node here. Just get rid of this chat guy. And you can 
use whatever you want. You can use WhatsApp, Slap, you can e- or Slap, Slack. You can even use like Gmail triggers or, or whatever you really want. But personally, I like Telegram. So we're going to do that on message. Boop. Creating a Telegram account. It's exactly the same as going through the OpenAI, right? So click the create new credential, ask assistant, and it'll walk you through how to do this. But essentially you download it. Uh, you talk to one of the bots in the Telegram app and it'll give you a token when you create your own channel, essentially, right? Then you just paste that in here and that'll be your Telegram account. So I've already got mine set up. We will plug this in and uh, let's test this just to make sure everything's going through. It's really important to, I sounded like a little kid, really important to test the workflow every step of the way so that you get the information that you can pass on to the next nodes. Sub node, simple, okay, no session ID, great. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go in here, oops, sorry, we're gonna go in here and then get the chat ID, boop, and put that into the memory. Go for define below. So now it knows where we're looking, right? And we can try that one more time. Test, no prompt specified, we are talking about it. Now we're gonna drag text. I'm gonna zoom this in actually. Move my, oh, wrong one. <laughs> Moving the wrong window. Okay, so we're gonna move this bit that says text right here, right into the prompt. There you go, user message. And I kind of did that on purpose, showing the two error messages so that when it pops up for you or if it pops up for you, you know exactly what that might be, right? Like what the problem is. So when you're inputting information from another trigger, you might need to add in session ID and then you will definitely need to add in the second prompt. So now that we've got that all sorted out, let's do this one last time. Test and it says everything's great. I'm not sure why GPT Nano is so slow right now. Okay, check it out. I do like using some of the higher end models on, uh... oh shoot, I can't, I don't have it on here. I do like using some of the higher models on like anything more client facing or that's like sort of important. So like I'll use GPT or Anthropic or whatever, but uh, I find Grok to be like the orange one <laughs> to be wicked fast. Like the Maverick is really good for that. Anyway, that's a tangent. So, okay, we've got our trigger. We've got that all sorted out. Now we're gonna add the output, right? Telegram output, just so that we get our confirmation. Send a text message, Telegram account chat ID. Let's pull that in from here. Text will be output. There we go. Perfect for a test. All right, now we'll do it one more time. Double test. And it's gonna pop up here on our Telegram when it's good and ready. Honestly, I can't explain why Nano is so slow. Okay, cool. I can run a double test, blah, 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 blah. That is your agent just thinking about a bunch of stuff. So again, in the system prompt, you'd tell it with specific outputs how to calm down. <laughs> so let's say, oh, hey, shoot, you see this bit? Message sent automatically with N8N. I hate that. So what we're going to do is go down to our send a text message, go to add field and go append n8n attribution and turn that off because otherwise any message that you send or whatever will have that sent with n8n sticker and I, I kind of hate that. So there we go. Now we're set up with Telegram. Let's go send an email to eric at easymachineai.com asking if we're still good for 2 p.m. tomorrow. Execute the test. thinking. Have I said that I don't know why this is so slow? Maybe I'm like the most impatient person on the planet. I mean, that's highly likely as well. There you go. Testerbot says, done. I've sent the email to Eric. Subject body. Hi, Eric. Just checking. We're still good for tomorrow at 2 p.m. I just want you to see this. I'm going to zoom out or zoom. Boop, make it big. Done. There you go. So now you've connected your very own email agent in N8N. Let me close this Telegram thing. I'm changing up my workflow a little bit. So like my, my windows are all, all over the place. It's different for me. So uh, I hope you can see how easy this actually is, right? And 
you just keep building from there. So this would be your email agent. What you can do from here is connect this to another agent that kind of routes everything, right? That's how I did it in my window here. So this is like my executive assistant. And then he calls that email workflow, right? If you want a, a walkthrough on how that's done, or you want me to just build it for you, um, send me an email. It'll be in the uh, description there. Uh, I'm also building a school community. I know it sounds a little cliche. I had one on WAP for a little while, uh, but Alex Hormozzi is a killer and pretty much gave me, not me personally, gave everybody a discount um, forever. So we're going to be moving that over there. I'm going to be talking about how to get these sorts of things into everybody's hands, how to build these out and uh, that sort of thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, uh, you can check out this video about seven other tools you can use and connect via N8N like this. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.